Hey, my friends, welcome to the Caribbean and the waters of my birth. Haven't seen it myself since I was just a baby. You see, I'm a loggerhead sea turtle, and that means I'm a drifter. I never stay in one place too long. Riding the currents all over the ocean, I've come across some amazing creatures and some scary ones. Think it's easy finding your way around here? I could never have done it without a whole lot of help. My name is Kara, and this is my tale from the wild. The sea turtle. Ah, oh, the islands. I tell you, it's good to be back. It's been 30 years since I laid eyes on this place. I came here because instinct, my inner voice, told me to. You don't know about instinct? <laughs> Mine's always yapping at me. I remember the first time she spoke to me on the day I was born. You're probably thinking I was hatched in the water, but my egg had been buried by my mother in the sand. It's me, Kara, smaller than a child's hand with the whole big world in front of me. For three days we'd been trying to get out of our nest. Three days with that voice in my head. Kara, this is no sandbox and there's no time to play. Hurry down to the beach, look at it split. It was instinct. Seemed like a lot of work, but I headed for the waves. So did the rest of all my brothers and sisters, in a mad scramble. Hey, stop shoving! Get that flip out of my face! Watch out, 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 watch out coming, coming through. through! Last one in, a rotten egg! looking loggerhead I ever saw. That's no turtle. It's a ghost crab. Get out of there quick, child. That voice again. One of my brothers didn't seem to hear her. didn't know instinct yet, but by listening to her, I made it over the first great hurdle of my life. The race to the sea. As soon as I dove into the water, I felt at home. My eyes, I could see so much clearer. My flippers. I could move so much better. My goodness, I was so much, well, wetter. I'd entered a whole new wonderful world, and I wasn't the only one just joining the fun. Seemed like everyone was having babies. 
the sea urchin launched a parade of tiny eggs. And a spiny lobster gave birth to thousands of hatchlings. All us babies were jamming at the party in the ocean, having a good time. Some of the fish were serving snacks too, like this grouper. He'd invited a bunch of gobies to come on in. Why? Not to eat them. To clean his teeth, of course. For payment, they got a free lunch. If you can call tooths come, lunch. Everywhere I looked, I saw funny faces coming out to meet me. To greet me. Uh-oh, to eat me. I wasn't even an hour old. But I already knew what that shape meant. Was my first hour going to be my last? Swim, Kara, swim. Tuck your flippers in, child, and hold perfectly still. Cutting through the water like a knife, that lean, mean, eating machine could have carved me up in a heartbeat, but I obeyed that inner voice and held still. I sure fooled that shark. He thought I was just another leaf floating by. Now it's nice to get advice, but there's something fishy about mysterious voices. What was going on anyway? Hey you! Who are you? Where are you? I am instinct, the inner voice that tells you what to do, where to go and how to get there. You cannot see me, but I am always with you. Trust in me, Kara. Inner voice? Can anyone else hear you? Or am I just one crazy little turtle? I speak to all the loggerheads been doing it for more than 65 million years now. But they don't all listen to me. Those that do, I guide safely home. Yeah? Then what's next, huh? Instinky? That's instinct, dear. And next, you must swim. Swim like your life depends on it. I could see nice fish families settling in for an evening of go fish. But I had no one to play with except my own lonesome. Might as well follow instinct's instructions and move on. So I swam and swam till it started getting late. Like those weren't night lights. They were animals. Even though I was lonely, who'd want to make friends with this crowd? Look at all these curious creatures. Am I a little weirdo? Well, it's fine. 
wasn't about to ask directions from any of them. Instead, I followed that inner voice buzzing in my head. For nearly 36 hours, I kept moving till I got pretty good at the doggy paddle. But I also got dog tired. Then I saw it. The sargassum, a kind of floating plant. A fantastic undersea world lies under the sargassum, spreading like a gigantic blanket on top of the water. <sighs> under that blanket, I tucked in my flippers and settled down for a nice long... <clears throat> but in the ocean, danger never sleeps. While I was snoozing, others were wide awake, with its silver skin flashing and its jaws agaping. It was a mahi-mahi, and he was hungry, hungry. The Humpback Song Hide in the sargassum, child. You'll be all right. Again, the Mahi Mahi never spotted me. Looked like everybody else was playing hide and seek too. They were all blending in with the sargassum. You're thinking that's a stick? Nay, it's a seahorse, of course. Here's a real trickster. The sargassum fish was using the plants as a disguise. Even his fins looked like leaves. But he was a wolf in sheep's clothing. He'd pretend it was a piece of sargassum, just so we'd come up close. Then he'd pounce and eat us up. I was finding out you gotta always watch your back in the ocean. But while I was avoiding getting eaten, I might as well get a little nibble in myself. How about I catch my first meal? Try those nutritious and delicious moon jellyfishes, Kara. Looked a bit slimy, but instinct knew what tasted good. Ah, yum, 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 yum. Jellyfish. You'd probably like it better with peanut butter, eh? And so I spent my days swimming with the sargassum, filling my belly with jelly and growing till I was up for something hardier. A fish seemed like a nice mouthful. But I couldn't seem to get my mouth near him. I was ready for a jumbo-sized jelly. A tangled mess called a man o' war. How about I give your tentacles a trim? These stingers are pure poison for some. But for me, they're just... Mmm, spicy. Though the sargassum was nice, after a while I started getting restless. I kept thinking to myself, there must be more to this great big ocean. 
and then one day I heard it. Traveling music. We're humpbacks, a whale called out to me. The gypsies of the deep. Our songs are our way of talking to each other along the way. Sounded fun. I asked her which way she was headed. We go south in fall, she said, and north in spring, from the Arctic all the way to the Caribbean. I'm coming with you, I cried. The whale laughed. Keep up if you can. And off she sped. I swam and I swam until I was all out swum. Suddenly, the ocean seemed big and strange. little me adrift on the great sea. Sure enough, now I was in over my head. Go with the flow. When you're little and lost, who are you gonna call? Instinct! It's okay, Kara. Don't go with the whales. Go with the flow. Be strong like the current child and it will take you on the trip of a lifetime. How could I say no? There was no one else in the whole world for me to trust, except my inner voice. So on I swam. I left the Caribbean and drifted with the ocean currents, up the North American coast, then thousands of miles across the Atlantic. I wound up more than halfway to Africa. Going and going and growing and growing, I cruised that ocean for nearly 30 years. What did I see? Amazing things, my friend, but some disgusting things too. The waters got awfully crowded, not with fish, but with garbage. And there was worse. Terrible nets had been strung up to catch us sea creatures. Many of my kind got tangled up and couldn't escape. For once, even instinct was at a loss. My old friend had no idea about how to cope with these new dangers. Whenever I asked her what to do about them, she grew strangely silent. But my inner voice never left me for long. Swim, Kara, swim. All grown up. I found myself turning back once more towards the Caribbean. I grabbed the next current heading west and started paddling. You think it's a big deal to swim across the pool? Try swimming across the ocean. But now that I'm here, how clean and beautiful the old neighborhood looks to me. There's nothing like being Cara back in the Caribbean. And there's nothing like home cooking. Lobster salad, anyone? Hey, don't be shy. If you want to join my party, you gotta come out of your shell. Ouch! Stop that! I get the point. You'd rather not join me for lunch. Oh, now, Slipper Lobster, 
Don't you try to give me the slip. I haven't spent all that time on the road without learning a trick or two. Or three. Or four. Gives it a nice crunch. The old gang's all here. Everybody in their happy families. The Barracuda swimming in schools. The squids out on a date. The dolphins with their darling babies. Everybody's got someone except Kara, the loner. Well, strike up the band. It's my old pal, the musical humpback whale. And looks like she's singing lullabies these days. What a pretty baby. But isn't it kind of late in the season for you to be here? You should be making that long trip north already. Don't think I'll come with you this time. Instinct telling me. This is the place for me. But why here? Why now? Unless... Instinct? Have you brought me back to the beach where I was born so I can start a family too? My inner voice has never been clearer. But I can't believe what she's asking me to do. Kara's return. Oh no, instinct, I don't want to do this. I'd never go on land otherwise. I belong in the water. But you've got to, Kara. Not for your own survival, but for the survival of your kind. Why do I listen, swim here, swim there, eat this, drag my 300 pounds through this sand? Bossy, bossy, bossy. And yet I have to say, something about this does seem right. Okay, Kara, time to dig. Oh, instinct. These flippers were made for swimming, not excavating. Look at this. Now I'm crying, but at least the tears washed the sand out of my eyes. It's funny, even with the tears rolling down my face, I'm not sad. I'm going to be a mom. My inner voice has led me round the world to do something really important. Give birth to a whole new generation of travelers. More than 100 eggs I laid in all, and then I carefully covered them up, safe and sound. Bye-bye, babies. Toodaloo, my turtle doves. Don't be long. When will they hatch, instinct? Can't wait to see the darlings. I'm sorry, but that won't be possible, Kara. No, and why not, I should like to know. Because, Ocean Drifter, your job here is done. Now you must return to your watery home. And do not worry too much. You survived. Some of them will too. I'll be there to help them. Promise, instinct? I promise I'll show them the way. Oh,
My babies started to hatch. I was already off on another adventure. But theirs was just beginning. Hey, stop shoving me. Brad in my stop face. The bike is all coming here. Watch out. Coming through. Hello, Kara's daughter. Welcome to the world. Now hurry down the beach. I hope my babies learn to trust their inner voice. Because with a friend like Instinct, they'll be riding the currents to amazing places. Swim far, swim free, little travelers. That's the way of the loggerhead. <laughs> 